all. Uh, I just wanted to show you this picture here that we have. This is coming from House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, who met with President Trump just today at Mar-a-Lago in Florida. He issued a statement following the meeting saying, House Republicans and the Trump administration achieved historic results for all Americans. We were able to do this because we listened to and understood the concerns of our fellow citizens that had long been ignored. As a result, House Republicans defied the experts and the media by expanding our growing coalition across the country. McCarthy goes on to say, today, President Trump committed to helping elect Republicans in the House and the Senate in 2022. A Republican majority will listen to our fellow Americans and solve the challenges facing our nation. Democrats, on the other hand, have only put forward an agenda that divides us, such as impeaching a president who is now a private citizen and destroying blue collar energy jobs for the sake of our country. The radical Democrat agenda must be stopped. He said, lastly, a united conservative movement will strengthen the bonds of our citizens and uphold the freedoms our country was founded on. So there you're seeing this picture that House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy and former President Trump took today in Palm Beach uh, at the president's home there in Mar-a-Lago. We haven't really heard much from former President Trump. This is, I believe, the first uh, photo image we've seen of him since... He left the White House on January the 20th. Uh, so we did just wanted to break in there and update you on what's been going on down there in Florida with the former president. So uh, for all of us here at News Now from Fox, I'm Andrew Kraft. We are going to take a quick commercial break. It's uh, the bottom of the hour here, Mountain Time, 2.30 in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, so we'll be back in two minutes, probably go back out to that, uh, that press briefing, the Pentagon has been holding and then we have uh, several reporters that we're going to talk to in the next couple of hours about the top stories of the day so thanks for sticking with us we'll see you back here in two